Hi, my name is Peggy Young and I am a fourth grade teacher at Center Grove Elementary. I am here today to speak to you about different strategies we use in fourth grade to teach our students how to do long division. In sixth grade, you will see that their standard is to use the standard algorithm. However, in fourth grade, it is not. And I know that is different for you as it is different for me because when I was taught how to do long division, we learned by using the standard algorithm. We need to start out a foundation, and that foundation is place value. So our standard in fourth grade is to find whole number quotients and remainders with up to four digit dividends and one digit divisors using strategies based on place value. And today I am going to teach you two strategies. Um, I have to give an aha. I have a student that just moved in from a different district whose mother told me he had no idea how to do division. I showed him how to do the Fantastic Seven and he is so proud of himself because now he knows how to do division and I am proud of him too. This is the Fantastic Seven. My problem is 5,723 divided by eight. The Fantastic Seven is, I'm going to bring my bar down and I'm going to think of multiples of eight a basic fact. So first I'm going to go eight times one is eight, then multiples of 10. Eight times 10 is 80. I can still take out more than 80. Eight times 100. Eight times one is eight. Annex my two zeros. I can still take out 800. I can go further. So I'm gonna go eight times 1,000. Eight times one is eight. And then I annex my three zeros. Can I take 8,000 out? No. So I'm thinking half of 1,000. Half of 1,000 is 500. So my basic fact, eight times five equals 40. And then I annex my two zeros. Can I take 4,000 out? Yes, I can. So 500 on the side of my fantastic seven. 500 times eight is 4,000. I have to subtract. Now what can I take? I look over here. Can I take 800 away? I sure can. So 100 times eight is 800. So I still have 923 left. I can take another 100 out. The difference is 123. I can look over here. I have eight times 10. Forty-three. Forty-three is still greater than eight, so I have to keep going. I look up here, there's 80, half of eight, or half of 10 is five. Eight times five is 40. The difference is three, which is less than eight, so that becomes my remainder. I have to add up all my partial quotients here, five, 600, 700, 710, 715 with my remainder three. Matches, different strategies. My next strategy is called the box strategy. On the outside, I put my divisor Inside, I put my dividend. And it is actually the same process. So out to the side, it's guess and check. So I can go eight times uh, 57. Eight times what is close to 57? Eight times six is 48. Eight times seven is 56. 
but I, I don't want to take just 56 out. Do I want to take 560? No, I want to go further. So 8 times 7 is 56. Annex my two zeros. Find the difference. This difference becomes the top of my next box. What can I multiply 8 by to get close to 123? 8 times 2 equals 16. Too much. So 8 times 1 is 8. I want to take more out, so 8 times 10 is 80. And I forgot something. We need to put 700 up here. How did I get 80? Multiplied it by 10. 10 times 8 is 80. So I have 43 remaining. I have to continue on because 43 is greater than 8. So my basic fact, 8 times 5 is 3 less than 8. Yes, it becomes my remainder. So I add 700 plus 10, 710 plus 5, 715, remainder 3. Another strategy to get the same quotient and remain or same quotient and remainder. Thank you.